here it is. First thing, the most important thing, is being able to do normal front body crosses with both hand placements. Right over left and left over right. The next thing to, that you need to be able to do is to be able to stay in continuous crosses. Right over left, left over right. The idea being that you're comfortable with your, your hand being in both placements. All right, next, this is a tip that I got from Chris, Jump Rope Coach Chris. And this is a tip, actually, that goes with and helps you perfect and get better at almost, well, a hell of a lot of jump rope skills, which is stalling the rope. So now what you want to try and be able to drop, try and do is try and kill the momentum in the rope as it's going above your head. Once you've got the gist of how to stall the rope mid-air so it kind of falls to the ground in front of you, loses all momentum, next thing you want to do is do a bounce and then as it's coming overhead, we'll cross the rope and then we'll toe catch, so like this. So, stall and then cross. And then the other hand placement as well. So I'll do that from the side. Once you've done the jump, stall and then cross catch, we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna do a cross jump and then stall open. that I got from Chris, it works really well. So if you imagine, we're in a cross here, and then so the, we're crossing as it's going underneath us, so we're, we're jumping up at this point, the rope's in the air, and then we wanna do another cross, so that it's gonna cross again as it goes underneath our feet. So if you imagine, rather than doing this, you wanna try and keep your wrists as close together as possible. So imagine that you've got handcuffs on, your arms are chained and you can't pull them apart. In order to cross your arms around, you'd be doing this kind of motion, and that's exactly what you're trying to aim for. If you're doing from the side, like this, okay, like this, with both, with both arm placements. speed it up from there. So we'll go really slow. Really, really slow. And you see how at the beginning when we're, we're trying to stall the rope, this is the reason why, because we want to have that time so we can switch the hands over whilst the rope is stalled. As you keep going with this, that time of which it's being stalled is going to be less and less. As you're learning, set a camera up on your phone or whatever and film yourself doing it from head on. The reason we're head on is you want to see the symmetry. If you're filming from the side, you're not really going to see what your hands are doing in relation to the center line of your body. Ideally, you want it to go across and you want both your hands to move about your center line equally. something that I work on and I'd encourage you to do the same. What you don't really want to do is just move one arm only or one arm make mostly. So what you don't want to do is this. So can you, can you see the difference between that and that? but it's there and it's one of the things if you find yourself doing that you need to work on your crosses on your opposite hand hand placement okay so once you've gone through all those steps 
you've gone through stalling the rope, you've done the cross catch, you've done the cross open catch, you've tried to do make sure that both hands are moving at the same time, and of course you started off with knowing how to do and being very comfortable with alternate crosses. Then you can start adding speed in. Once you've got the switch cross down on your dominant hand placement, so for mine, for example, it's right over left. So this. I encourage you to immediately, straight away, start on the opposite side, so left over right. Now you'll notice that mine aren't balanced, they're not exactly the same, but, you know, we're all human. Once you know how to do the dominant and non-dominant side hand placements, you can then add them together to do near infinite switch crosses. while shuffling. And then we can have more fun by doing continuous switch crosses while shuffling. Another one you can do a double under switch cross. switch crosses are more unbalanced than my normal balance crosses and then we can have lots of fun by adding mic releases into the mix mic release into a cross switch cross So leave the video there, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if that's what you're into, if you're into jump rope. I'm planning to do a few more tutorials in the coming weeks, so make sure you subscribe and press the little bell notification so you don't miss a video. I hope you have fun learning. It's a really cool and fun trick to add into combos here and there. And as you can see, once you've got that the basics down, you can then do them in any which way. There's links in the description box below to Chris and Nate's channels where there are much more advanced trickery going on with switch crosses, because switch crosses that I've just shown you is just a basic switch cross. Then you've got switch cross in toads, in TSs, in Krugers, all that kind of good stuff. So stuff that I can't do, but I find fascinating. So yeah, go check out the links in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.